Hello, my friends. This is your new best friend, Pong Lizardo. I want to make this video as useful as I possibly can for you. So as you can see, this is the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice, which is the most popular video or rather the most popular microphone in this channel. So we are going to do a couple of things for those who are fans of me or those who are subscribed to me and fans of the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice. First, what we are going to do is we are going to compare like what I am doing right now. We are comparing the Behringer XM8500 with a cloud lifter and without a cloud lifter. We are using, whoa, it is raining outside, huh? so you might hear thunders and uh, rain noise from this recording. So what we are using as our audio recorder is the Zoom H5. Now, first, what we're doing right now is we are comparing this these two microphones with the same recording levels, which is at negative 12. Then later on, what we are going to do is we are going to have the same gain setting for the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice attached to a cloud lifter and the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice directly attached to the Zoom H5. We are going to have the same, again, once again, the same um, gain level for the two and we are going to shift from one microphone to the other like what we are doing right now. And finally, the third thing I want to do to make this video as useful as I possibly can to you is to show you what I do post-processing in my computer. First things first, what we have been doing is we are shifting from the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice attached to the Zoom H5 via a cloud lifter and the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice attached just directly to the Zoom H5 with the same um, recording levels, which is at negative 12. So what I'm going to do is I have a little camera here. Just in case you don't believe me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly what I am doing. So as you can see here, we have Zoom H5. One microphone is attached to the cloud lifter and one is not. I don't know if you can see that. We are recording at the same recording level, which is at negative 12. And here are the gain knobs. Oh, doesn't doesn't focus. Huh? One is at around 4 and the other one is at around 6. Obviously, the one that is around 4 is the one attached to the cloud lifter. And the one at around 6 is the one directly attached to the Zoom H5. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the gain knobs at exactly the same position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see it's around 4. So I'm going to do like that. So now we have the gain knob of this Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice matching the gain knob of this Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice. Now, uh, what I'm seeing here is the recording levels. So let me show you once again. So now, what is happening right now is, the, as you can hear, the gain, or rather the recording levels of these two microphones are significantly sig blah, significantly different. And if I shift from one microphone to the other, like this microphone is really low compared to this microphone, which is really loud. So that is to give you an idea how it would sound like or the difference in the gain. Now let's do the reverse. We are going to match the gain level of of this microphone, the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice with the black, uh, with, with the XLR cable with a black cap. We are going to match its gain level to the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice without the cloud lifter. So you get an idea of, of the difference in the gain level on the lower range and on the high range. I don't know if that will be useful, but you know, people on YouTube, they comment, oh, you don't make a good video. 
So now what we are going to do now is we are going to change the gain knob of this Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice to match the gain knob of this Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice. Okay. Now it is very loud as you can hear. Ugh, crap, I'm clipping these uh, two microphones. This, this microphone is so loud, it's clipping, so I need to reduce the volume of this microphone because it's not good to hear. So let, let me do that right now. Okay, test, 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 test. This is as far as I can go. Any further will uh, distort the, oh, it, it's actually distorting, it's not nice to hear will distort the audio and we will have clipping on the audio so this is what happens if you have a very high gain together with the cloud lifter because the point of ah, crap let me just put put them back on the same um, recording levels okay so now we are back on the same recording level for these two microphones as you can hear if the, the gain knob is too low, it's not nice. And if it is too high, it's not nice either. Now, to make it th this video useful to you, we are now going to go to the computer and we are going to see, or I'm going to rather show you the post-processing that I normally do on my audio. And you can hear this post-processing on the podcast I produce, which is The Rational Ape. It is a podcast where everything can be talked about rationally. Anyway, without further ado, let's go to the computer and let's see what kind of post-processing I do. We now have the files in our computer. Now, this may surprise a lot of people, but what I use for my post-production, audio post-production, is Audacity. This is what I use for my podcast and for my other videos. So what I do is this. I drag it. Now, for the sake of demonstration, I will edit this audio for this video as if I am editing for my podcast. And the audio you hear in this video is edited very minimally. So what I usually do is this. The important thing is to denoise the video because you usually hear shh like that. That is noise. So what I do is I highlight a few seconds of silence and it is important when you do any recording to have a few seconds of silence in the beginning or at the end of the video so you can, or rather the recording so you can do this. So in Audacity, you just take noise reduction, get noise profile, and then after that, you Apple A or Command A or Control A and then what you do is you go back to your noise reduction after you got the noise profile. And I, I just leave this as default and then OK. And then it will process all of the noise found in the audio. OK, so now once it's finished, we need to deal with the peaks in the audio like this and this and this. Now you can do it manually. For example, you can do it manually like this. Sometimes I do this sometimes. I highlight that area that has the peak and I amplify and then negative two or negative three just to bring it down a little bit. As you can see, it went down from there to here, but I'm lazy. So what I usually do, I take the lazy man's out and I do limiter, soft limit, and then I, once again, if you did not see that effect, I know there are some people who will comment, oh, you're going too fast, blah, 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 I, I mean, okay, so let's go effect, limiter, and then what I do is I usually do negative five, depending on how high those peaks are. So experiment with this. So let's just put negative five. So what the limiter does is it is going to bring down those peaks. So let me undo so you see, undo. So those are the peaks. If you can see here, these peaks, if I do the limiter, negative five, it will bring it down. This limiter is very important because once we compress the audio and normalize, you don't want those peaks. And depending on the mic I'm using, 
maybe I'm going to do some equalization here, but usually the Behringer XM8500 is, it's a good mic. So you don't, normally I don't do the equalization here. Probably if I have time or if I feel so inclined, what I usually do for the Behringer XM8500 is I clean out the bass because from, I think from 60 hertz down, you don't really hear it. And I just put it down so you clean the audio a little bit. Okay, so that, I do that. And then here, I don't like a lot of that sibilance. It's called sibilance. So I'm reducing that a little bit. So this is, this is just what I do. It's just a, a little bit of cleaning and that's it. And then once the equalization, equalization is done, I do my compressor. So once again, effects, compressor. I do the compressor negative 27 and check, remember to check this, compressed based on peaks. And this is the reason why we used limiter in the beginning, because it's going to compress based on those peaks and you want the audio to more or less peak in the same, in the same level or at the same level. So, okay, I will hit okay and it's going to compress the video. What it does is it's going to make the audio more beefed up. It's going to put everything more or less at the highest or to match the highest peak in the audio bed. So what that is, is, we are going to compare so that like what I'm doing right as you now. can see here, most of the, the most of the signal, now let me just stop that. Outside As you can see here, here it's it just peaks yeah. around negative uh, six, negative three to negative nine. So what that is what the compressor does to your audio. And finally, before I export, what I usually do is this. I normalize, where is that? So let me just see, effect, normalize. And for a lot of video, you can do normalize to zero or normalize to negative one, but I want, I want the audio of my videos and the podcast to be as loud as possible without breaking people's ears. So what I do is I normalize to zero, okay. And what it does is it will make it louder without hitting the zero mark. It will put the audio as close to the zero mark as possible. So this is how you maximize the, the audio. So you see, I live around here without clipping. You see, if you hear that in the audio, usually it sounds more refined, especially for podcasting. And then after that, what I do is I just export audio up. And then I just export WAV 16 bit and that's it, export, save. Okay, for this part of the video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare an unedited version of the audio with an edited version of the audio, just in the spirit of being thorough, because I know, you know how people in YouTube could be, oh, I don't. So what you are hearing right now is the unedited version of the audio now just to be clear what what i have here is just it's just one mic now this is uh this behringer xm8500 ultra voice is attached to a cloud lifter attached to a zoom h5 and this is the unedited version of the audio this is an edited version of the audio and our recording levels is at negative 12. the gain knob is once again at around four so this is this is how it is i don't know if you are hearing any difference between the audio from the beginning of this video to now there you have it our last microphone <laughs> it sounds so sad to say last i'm not going anywhere i will make new videos about different topics and i will make video reviews of products i found useful and i actually use. I want to be your friend, but I don't think I am 
doing you a great service or I'm not being a friend by talking exclusively of microphones and audio equipment. There, There is more to life than audio equipment and microphones, you know? So if you want to be my friend, keep subscribed. And if you are new to this channel and you want to join me and my friends, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Remember to hit app click whatever that bell so you get notified when a new video comes up. If you want to help out, what you can do is do your shopping on the affiliate link found on the description of this video below. More importantly, remember to visit and sign up for my Patreon, links to which can be found on the description of the video below. Patreon is this cool platform which allows you my friends, to become my generous patrons. In Patreon, you can give any amount of money as a sign of your patronage and generosity. The few dollars you are going to send my way every month will make this channel sustainable. So I don't have to resort to advertising in this channel to make it sustainable. It will also encourage me to make better videos more regularly for you guys. So with that, Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I will see you on the next video. Namaste.